you. Welcome back to my channel for the first official video of my moving series. If you don't know, hi, I'm Mikkel and I'm moving and I'm so excited about it. One of the things that I really need to tackle before I move is cleaning out my closet. I live in a studio now, but I happen to have my own walk-in closet and my husband has a separate closet, which is absolutely ridiculous for a studio. And we're moving into a larger apartment with way less storage. So it's forcing me to get rid of things. And I'm actually super pumped about it. So today we're gonna go through my closet and clean it out together. And I'm gonna be ruthless. But before we jump into that, I have an exciting little announcement. Today's video is partnered. Yay! So excited. <laughs> and so I want to thank Home Chef for partnering with me on today's video and making it possible. I know if you have been around with me for a while, you have seen me try random different types of meal kits and not really like them. For me and for my busy life, they were just kind of too hands on, in my opinion. But Home Chef just announced a new line of products that I am so so thrilled for. They have three new types of dishes. There's oven ready dishes, grill ready dishes, and entree salads. And these are pretty much just like ready to go, pop them in the oven type of thing. It's way easier. The thing that I am super excited about is I don't have to use pots or pans or anything like that to cook them. Especially since I'm moving, for a couple weeks I don't think I will have access to my pots and pans because they will be in moving boxes. I was actually worried about what I would do because I didn't want to just order like takeout and I am very excited for the solution. I'm gonna show you real quick one of the ones I got for this week. This is one I got for Brooke. This is their Chipotle Chicken Alfredo Baked Penne. Everything I need is right there. You just assemble it real quick and you pop it in the oven. No cleanup. He don't even have to use a plate if he didn't want to. And as a gift to you, Home Chef was super nice to include a super generous promo code. It's a total of $80 off, which is incredible. So it's $20 off your order for your first four orders, and you can use the code Mikkel80. All of this information though will be linked down in the description box below. So if you forget any of it, just look right there. It's all, it's all there for you. So I am genuinely so pumped that I can make sure we're still eating well and it will all take me less than five minutes of prep and absolutely zero cleanup. So thank you again, Home Chef, for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's go get rid of everything I own. That's excessive, not everything. Most of the things. I'm already looking at this like, oh no, what am I gonna get rid of? There's so much stuff. And especially lately with me doing all my thrifting videos, I have even more stuff. And so my plan is, is I'm going to put everything I want aside. First, I'm gonna take it to Crossroads and see what they will buy. Then if there's anything extremely valuable that I wanna sell on Poshmark that they don't buy, I will, and then after that, I'm going to give it to friends to look through, and then after that, to Goodwill. It's going to be the circle of life for whatever I choose to get rid of today. And I have so much clothes, so I'm just gonna go through this one by one and let you know what I think about each item. The beginning of my closet is mostly things I wear because I tend to wash and dry things and put them up front. So I'm gonna skip a couple. This is funny, I'm keeping this only for memory's sake. I should probably put it up in my like memory thing. I tried to do a long sleeve version of the I Choose Joy, but this material is terrible and it printed wrong and wonky and it's just, it's just not good. But it is a keepsake because it's part of the journey to making my own merch. If you haven't seen my uh, successful short sleeve version, it is linked down below. I'm gonna move this to my, I have like a thing up here of sentimental t-shirts. I got this in a thrifting video and I thought I would wear it more than I have. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I have a lot of plain white shirts. Okay, this Free People shirt I did in a Free People thrifting video. I think I'm gonna see if Crossroads will buy it and if not, I will Poshmark it. My Being Nice is Neat shirt also linked down below. Okay, we're starting to get a little more into my older clothes. This was from thrifting in the men's section and I have so many plain white shirts that I think I'm just gonna say goodbye. This is one that I can't decide what to do with. Maybe I should sell it on Poshmark. It's kind of fun. Maybe I should crop it. I don't know. I'll hang on to it while I decide what to do with it. The reason I haven't cropped it yet is because I couldn't tell if it was designer or not. From my limited online research, it kind of looked like it might be designer. This Madewell shirt I also got in a thrift video and I feel like there was a hole somewhere. Oh yeah, there's a couple holes down here, but it, it fits me a little more relaxed than I would like and I didn't really feel uncomfortable in it until I wore it a couple times and I was like, it, the way it just like falls wasn't that flattering. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. This is a Madewell top that I kind of recently bought. Um, something about it, I just never gravitate towards it. I don't know if it's the material or the color or what, but I bet you, I bet you Crossroads will buy it since it's Madewell, so I'll set it aside. I have a couple just plain white tees that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of because I have a lot of plain white tees. Here's another one, I'll get rid of that. Oh, another journey down merch lane. I tried to get the high fringe shirt in a crop top, but look at how crappy it is in comparison 
to the one I actually ended up making. Do you see the difference? You can see quality and logo and everything. So this is another keepsake, but I wouldn't actually ever wear. So I'll go ahead and put this in the keepsake t-shirt. This was sent to me by a brand and it's like a really, really nice shirt. It's Vince Camuto, which I think is like kind of designer, but even though it's size small, it just feels really large on me. Um, so because of that, I've worn it once. I kept having to pull it up because it kept falling down really low and just because of that experience, I've never worn it again. And I've learned about myself whenever I do that and don't wear something again, I, I never will, so. I held on to this shirt the last time I did my closet clean out, expecting me to wear it again and I just haven't. So I gave it a shot. I don't dislike this shirt, I just never wear it. And sometimes I don't know why that is. Goodbye, this is from Urban Outfitters, so maybe it's also something that Crossroads would buy. Although we're going into fall season, and I have learned with stores like that that they only buy whatever season you're going into, usually. So that will be interesting to see. This is such a keepsake shirt. I think I talked about this in a different video, but this shirt, when I was 12 or 13, I flew to LA for an audition and I, before my audition, killed time in a vintage store and bought this. That's when I kind of realized like one day I want to live in LA. Like it's so cool. I can go from vintage store to my audition and now I'm here. So it's something I've always held on to because of the strong memories attached. And it also makes really cute beach cover up when I tie it. This is a Madewell shirt I got for Christmas a couple of years ago and it's still really cute but I think once you have something for a while, you just kind of lose the spark for it, you know? It's like a old lover. You look back and you're like, I loved you once, but I don't anymore. You know, getting rid of a lot of Madewell. <laughs> I think I talked about this in my other closet clean out as well, but this shirt is so ugly. It literally has a hood and I always want to get rid of it, but this is what I wore on me and Brooke's first date. I don't know why I wore this, but he thinks it's hilarious, so he wants me to keep this forever. Thanks, babe. Oh, wow. I have a couple Madewell shirts that I want to get rid of. Here's another one. This has this like kind of little faux wrap top element to it. It's cute, but it's interesting because it is like a summer cut, but it's like this thick, thick, thick wool. So I don't really want to wear it when it's really hot outside because it's a thick wool, but I don't really want to wear it when it's cold outside because there's no sleeves. So I just end up never wearing it. I'm not gonna have much clothes left after this. I'm being pretty vicious. I think I should get rid of this as well. I do. This is another Madewell shirt. And something about the material kind of has this sheen to it. It's hard to tell on camera, but because of that, I don't know. It just reminds me of like sad things like funerals. Is that weird? It's kind of weird. So I'm going to bid it a loving adieu. Oh, I really don't have much left after this. This is another one that I gave a shot in my last closet clean out and I said maybe I'll wear this, but I just haven't. I just haven't. So goodbye. Okay, if you don't know me, hi. First, I'm Mikkel. What's up? I'm an actor, so I kind of have to keep in mind auditions and things. This shirt is not really my personal style, but I'm gonna hang on to it because I get called in for edgier roles all the time. Um, do I have to look? you know, edgy. And what's better than like a kind of fishnet sheared shirt and you wear like a tight black tank underneath it. So not really my personal style, but I will hang on to it. Oh, honestly, I forgot about this. See, this is also why it's good to clean out your closet. You fall back in love with things. Last time I cleaned out my closet, I found this, which I had totally forgot I even had and I never wore, but now I love it and I wear it all the time. That's similar to this one. I've worn this on Taste Made a couple times. I really love it. It's cute with like high-waisted jeans. I'm gonna hold on to it. This top is not really my style anymore. Um, it's kind of very bohemian. It's free people, but it is really flattering on me. Do you ever have clothes like that where you're like, I don't really like this item, but I love the way I look in this item? I have a lot the opposite too, where I'm like, oh, I love this, but I don't like the way it looks on me. <laughs> I feel I feel like that, but the opposite with this. So I can't decide what I should do. Maybe this should be one that I give it another shot, just like last time. And next closet clean out, if I still haven't worn it, I will get rid of it. This is a tank that I bought at Banana Republic of all places, like quite a while ago, and it's very quality, and I actually still love it. This is a good reminder to me to buy staples, buy quality staples because I bought this literally probably four years ago and I still feel like it's super in style. Could you imagine this like a, a cute layered necklace and some chunky heels? I don't think I really need this. I'm trying to think of what, I have a lot of jackets and to be honest, I don't really wear hoodies because taking on and off a hoodie kind of messes up your hair. I bought this at Urban Outfitters. Yeah, it's BDG. I think, I think it's time to say goodbye to that one as well. This is another shirt that's not really my style but that I need to hang on to. This is kind of like my young intern shirt. <laughs> it's the only shirt I have that looks semi-professional because I don't have a real job, so I don't have many professional looking shirts. So I do wear this whenever I go in for like young intern roles. So I'm keeping this because I have to, not because I want to. Okay, this shirt, in my opinion, is very similar to this shirt that I just showed you. They're both kind of cropped, long sleeve floral, except this 
fits me way better. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and get rid of this. I don't know, fall is coming up. I guess it doesn't hurt to have a couple different varieties of long sleeves. Fall's coming up. I'll see how I'll see how it lasts through fall time. This sweater I did in my no so thrift flip and it's cute but I just have sweaters I like so much more than this one. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this one, maybe sell it on Poshmark. I love this. This is one of my favorite sweaters from Urban Outfitters. My mom got it for me for, from Christmas last year and it's perfectly cropped, it's perfectly simple. It's just perfect. Okay, we have a couple sweaters that I love. I bought this sweater like also four years ago and it has these fun oversized sleeves and I just have loved it every season. I don't know how it hasn't gone out of style. And this is one of my favorite semi long sleeve shirts. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a three quarter sleeve. It's hard to tell on camera, but it is a wrap top and it has this tie down on the bottom. And it's just the perfect amount of skin without feeling uncomfortable at all, but while still looking like super flattering. So I'm gonna keep this one. Oh wait, I do have another kind of young intern shirt. Hmm, what should I do? I'll hang on to them both. This could also be cute tucked into boyfriend jeans with like a low messy bun. That could be a cute look as well. So I'll hang on to that. Getting through my sweaters, getting through my sweaters. It's funny, this uh, long sleeve turtleneck, I, did, I wouldn't expect for me to really like this, but it's my favorite thing to wear under like strap dresses in the fall and winter. So I actually feel like one thing that I should get that could be more year round is spaghetti strap dresses. Because I, you can't wear like cap sleeve dresses with something underneath it really, it's kind of dumb. So maybe that should be on my to buy list. What is this? I don't even know what this is or where this came from, honestly. This is like a very long dress. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Bye bye. Oh, this is a fun shirt that I also forgot I had. Okay, I'm gonna put this shirt and this shirt together. It's kind of the same concept but different and move it up more towards my shirts and away from my sweaters. Here's another shirt. I bought this for my engagement shoot. You have to wear something underneath it. Like, look at that. Look at how deep that is. I do like the color a lot. So I'm gonna hang on to it and see if I wear things underneath it. Okay, to the dresses. I held onto this dress from a thrift video, but I honestly have other ones that are cuter and I don't need it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the dress I wore when Brooke proposed. Such good memories. Dresses are what I live in. Like, I should honestly only buy dresses. You saw this one in a thrift video. I called this the anthropology dress before I bought it and I called it the kimono dress after I tried it on. Um, I just don't think I'm realistically gonna wear it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I need more casual dresses. I have plenty of formal ones, but I need more casual ones. This is a really cute dress that I got on a sip and thrift, and I like it, but it just doesn't have enough shape for me. So I think I'm gonna say bye to it also. I bought this for my honeymoon expecting to wear it. Oh, I did wear it. I wore it once, but after wearing it once, this hem hits me too high. It hits me like right under my boobs instead of on my natural waist. And so because of that, I didn't love it. So I'm going to get rid of it. Free Press, I think it's a nice brand because I got it at Nordstrom Rack. And Nordstrom Rack is from Nordstrom. And Nordstrom has nice things. But I think I got it on like sale on sale. You know, it was like sale, but then it was on clearance. And then there was a sale on clearance. So I don't think I spent much money on it. Okay, this is a dress that's a little more casual. But this color of red is just a little too aggressive for me. So I find myself not really wearing it. So I think I'm gonna say bye. I wanna just get some more like muted color dresses, you know? But it is a wrap dress. Wrap dresses are cute. Oh, now that it's fall, I can bring this dress back. I literally got this at Forever 21 three years ago for like $12 and it is my favorite fall dress. It wraps in the perfect spot. It's like this fun fall color velvet. I'm pretty sure velvet is officially out of style, but you know what? I don't care. I like it a lot. Another thrifted dress that I didn't know what to do with. It's fun because it has these like tassels on the back, but but I haven't worn it. That's pretty much it. That is all of my hanging clothes. I have other clothes that I'm going to go through, like my pajamas and my sweats and my random things like that, but that is significantly less exciting. Do you wanna see the pile of clothes on the ground? Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Go Mikkel. This is how many hangers of stuff I got rid of. That many things, that's so good. I'm so impressed. That was a ton of fun. After I finished cleaning out my closet, I actually took all of my clothes and took it into Crossroads and exchanged it for a few staple pieces that I felt like I was missing after going through my closet. So I have way less stuff now, but some additional things that will really help me pull together some fall outfits. So if you wanna see that as a separate video, let me know. And I can definitely do a little haul and show you what I got for what I got rid of. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. I absolutely love spending time with you guys. I hope you're ready, cause there's gonna be a lot of decluttering, packing, moving, decorating videos coming in the very near future. So 
press subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned and that way you don't miss all of our fun things coming up. I love you so very much and I hope you have the best rest of your day. I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye!